my husband. If you can guess the song, the name of the song that he's talking about, please put it in the remarks below. But here's my guy. So we're off. Off where? To uh, the Christmas party. This no. is Christmas party number two for me. Christmas party number one for Jay. And we're going to the Andover Country Club. Whoops. What the heck was that? That was my lens cover. Lens cap? Lens cap. Cover cap. So I have my fake bun thing in, honey. Oh, I didn't even notice. Bologna, you told me you thought I was very sexy looking. Yeah, you get your false teeth in? <laughs> Don't start with the false teeth. <laughs> I cannot believe you. You know what? Half of my subscribers commented and said something about the false teeth, what a bad boy you were doing that. And I have to say, I don't have false teeth. She doesn't, I'm just just having fun with her. I was telling him you probably like to suck on gums or something. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if anybody remembers, since we're all in the mature age group, anybody remember the uh, lyrics? Take out your false teeth, mama, let me suck on your gums. Can you name the band that sang that? I don't know. Okay, we'll see. Let's we'll see who, who names it in the comments. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, Stan. <laughs> see you later, guys. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> so we went to the party, and there was a number of people there, and we just had a really, really good time. When I do my makeup, when I go out for the day, I'm always very, very careful. It's so easy, as you know, to like all of a sudden wipe off a part of your eyebrow or smudge a part of your eyebrow. And I've been like, oh, you know, this like just really awful. And then I was cruising the Yorkley website. I saw this and I said, wow, it's a brow styler and it's supposed to last up to 14 hours. And I'm like, well, not that I would keep my eyebrows on for 14 hours, but this time of the year when sometimes I leave super early in the morning and I don't get back home till about eight, you know, depending on what's going on, It'd be nice to not have to worry about my eyebrows. So I uh, actually put in a request to see if they would approve me to, to actually review this product. And lo and behold, I was. So this product was sent to me complimentary from Lancome. I was absolutely thrilled because, like I said, 14 hours of wear would be really super cool without having to worry. So I wore it today. And what a great way to break it in to see how I did. It's really cool because if you want to thicken your brow you can go against and then you can smooth it out going the other way and I got the shade blonde I like this little the little brush is really cool but it's really hard on the internet to pick colors and so I, I just you know I know that normally I would buy taupe or a light brown and Avon, my brow pencil is dark blonde. So I knew that I was gonna stick to that color choice. And so that's what I did, blonde. And I was really worried that it would be too light. But I think, I think it's perfect. So I've had this on probably a good nine hours. And I've been partying and I've had some of those little mimosas and I've just had a really great time. And this thing has not worn off. So this, I'm going to link all the information below. The other thing I wanted to say to you is that I went and I bought, because Walgreens, you know, if, you're, if you are um, a fan of Boots Number no. 7 products at all, and or Walgreens in general, you should check the internet, check on their website. But I actually went and bought some new shades of the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate. Now, when I got color matched in Walgreens from this originally they had said I was in a color wheat which is a, a great color for me I never have to worry about going down into my neck and all that but I also felt that it was sort of more on the not the duller but darker darker side and I thought going into winter where I have absolutely no tan going into winter that maybe I could boost it up a little bit so I did I went and I they had buy one and get the other 50% off. And I think the regular price is like, I think $14.99. I have to look at my slip. So I bought Cool Beige, which is what I'm wearing. So I put Cool Beige on this morning. 
underneath my cool beige I have my my regular um, Australian gold 50 SPF sunscreen and then I put the cool beige I did touch up around my nose where my veins always pop through I used my um, my cosmetics uh, bye bye redness and put that on there and then I put the cool beige beige all over my face um, I it blended really nice it really blended really nice I every time I went to the ladies room every time I looked at my makeup a to check my eyebrows but also to check my skin I didn't have any issues it never you know it stayed the color stayed really true so this is cool beige the other color I have is cool ivory but I'm really liking the cool beige and I think the cool ivory I haven't really tried this one yet I think that might be a really good one for maybe January February we'll see but that's the scoop on that so it was really really happy with that with the sale I think Walgreens often has the Boots number no. 7 products on sale and I just absolutely love the Lift and Luminate foundation hi guys it's Tuesday I am not too sure if I'm going to add this clip on to the end of my vlog video but um, if you see it you know I got some guts up I um, I was in the bathroom and I had been trying to do some um, you know an eye look and I had watched Marlene Fab and Glam's video that she posted on Sunday where she had created an easy simple low-key eye look but there's nothing low-key about her eyes her eyes are amazingly beautiful so she created this look and I said wow you know she said you gotta experiment a little bit more because I was saying to her how I I just could not pull that look off I couldn't recreate anything like that so she said oh try try so today I said I would try try and I failed miserably, but I was in the bathroom and I was trying to, you know, make my eyes a little bit more dramatic when I realized that I use a product and I've used this product for well over a year now that I never mentioned because I never really think about it. But I, as you know, I love my shimmers and I know, hey, age appropriate, whatever. Uh, I'm going to define what is age appropriate for me and my shimmers are a part of that. So I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible and, and this is the Latte Ice. And I have actually hit pan in this baby. I really have. It's like, oh my gosh. So I just really use this and I just dab some on my eyelids. If I'm, no matter what eyeshadow I'm wearing, I usually dab a little bit of the shimmer or a lot sometimes on my eyelids. And, uh, and I said, yeah, I gotta mention this because I really like it because I was looking at it, I'm going to hit pan. I'm probably going to look to make sure I can still get this color because, you know, my luck, every time I see something or I have something I really like, it gets discontinued. So, so while I was in there playing around um, and doing my eye look, I had my hair all pulled back and I had my one of my square bands on and, and I said, you know what, I'm going to fix my hair up. I'm going to stick my, you know, hair up in a tight bun, my hair completely off my head like this and put one of my little fake bunny things on, which I did on the top of my head. So I I don't think I would go out in public like this. And when Jay saw me, he said, oh my God, he says, I've never seen you with your hair like that. I said, I know. So I, I did it just for the video. I put some earrings on because I figured before I wipe this eye makeup off, I might as well finish my vlog because I hadn't done that. So um, yeah, so I may or may not insert this clip in the end of the video and I I'm pretty sure I probably won't go out in public with my hair like this at least not pulled back like that but it was kind of fun creating the look I guess I was watching a video that Laura from Shake Up Makeup had put out I think maybe I don't know it was maybe a week or so ago and she talked about how she had found a lip gloss that she felt was very very close to the buxom lip glosses and I am a major buxom lip gloss fan I really am I love my buxom lip glosses and thanks to Melissa 55 I love the white Russian they're they're pricey they're like twenty dollars but when you can grab a sale there was a sale not too long ago where they were ten dollars if you can grab a sale wow mm -hmm. I love I love it they're lip plumping they feel really good on your lips and I, do, I love the whole total look of the Buxom lip gloss. Over the course of time, I've tried other lip gloss products from Avon to Rimmel to, you know, CoverGirl to, you know, many other drugstore 
basically in any kind of lip gloss that I've gotten in my BoxyCharm Free, I've tried. None of them have come close to, in my mind to this to the Buxom. And then when Laura said that she tried the Hard Candy Lip Plumping Gloss and Serum and that she felt it was really, she didn't say it was a dupe, but she felt it was really close to the Buxom Gloss. I said, I've got to try it. So the next day when I was down in Walmart, I went and I found it. I bought two of them. And I'm telling you, I love them. They... Um, they're, they're not an exact dupe for sure, but when you put them on, I can tell the little bit of a tingling. I can see the little bit of the plumping effect. I love how the gloss is. They come in a couple of different shades. They seem to last really nice. They feel really good on my lips, and I wear the gloss on top of every lipstick I ever had. It doesn't matter what color the lipstick is. One of the glosses is going on top of it, including my ColourPop lippies that stay on forever. So I put this on. This is the Hard Candy, and I love, love, love it. And f I think it's under five bucks, something like that. And so I thought this was amazing, amazing product. So if you're looking for a really nice gloss and you like the Buxom line of glosses, I think you're going to really, you're going to love this. So forget all those other glosses, but check this one out if you have a Hard Candy. I'll link the colors I bought. I really, really love them. And also my brows. So I got, as you know, free from Lancome, their Sourcils Styler. And this is the brow product. I showed it earlier in the video clip earlier in the week when I did it, or last week, I should say. What I really like about this compared to all the other brow products, and I'm not talking my brow pencils. I'm talking about these gels, these little combey things, you know, the sort of brow mascaras or whatever. What I really like about this is this did not, this didn't coat the skin underneath. This did not coat the skin. So I was able to take it, I love the brush, and I was able to brush from the temple in towards my nose, and then I smoothed it out. I didn't even use a brow pencil. I didn't use an eyebrow pencil whatsoever. This is the shade Blonde, and in this clip you can see one on, one off. But I did not use any kind of an eyebrow pencil, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I really like the fact that it, it didn't color my skin, it colored my hair. And it feels really good. And every day that I've worn it, it has lasted a long, I mean the whole day. I've had no issues. I've had no worries about one brow being distorted or falling off or being rubbed off. I really like it. So now I have never had another high-end brow product to compare it to, so I couldn't tell you. It's like $26, I believe, retail. But I couldn't tell you how it compares to any other. So if you have a, a brow gel styler that you think I should try that you like at, that you think is really good let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious about experimenting this has been a big hit so other than that um, this week is going to be crazy we've got a couple of parties we're still going to and then Thursday night we're doing the premiere of Star Wars so that's the scoop guys kind of you know kind of just a little bit of this a little bit of that and it's it's time of year oh and on Saturday we worked and on the way home, we get caught in a snowstorm. So if you live in another part of the world and you don't see snow like this, this was a little bit of our ride home. And the roads were pretty treacherous. There were cars all over the place. People couldn't make hills. We got home pretty pretty comfortably, although it was a nerve-wracking ride. But we did get home. Jay's a pretty good snow driver, and we have a brand new tires, and we have a four-wheel drive vehicle. So we did, we did okay. But there is nothing as pretty, and I will leave you with this clip, waking up the next morning with a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snow. And it's it's so pretty when it just freshly, when it's just freshly fallen. But I don't like it that much anymore. So I'm always saying, okay, you can leave and not come back, but I know we'll get more. So that's a little bit of my week, my life. Thanks so much for spending some of your precious time with me today. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll see you on the weekend. Bye guys.